when I first visited Thailand in 1987, the place I really wanted to see was Koh Samui. I'd been told about it by an Australian guy I knew who used to lodge with me. I mean, even the sound of it sounded exotic, Koh Samui. And just, uh, I had this image, you know, of like palm trees and the, and the coconuts. I mean, bearing in mind at, at that time, I'd never actually seen a whole coconut. All I'd seen was the little bit you get in the middle that you used to get sometimes at, at fairs in the UK. So, you know, I was really looking forward to it and it didn't disappoint me. I mean, it was tropical paradise. I went there quite often until 2005. And I just remember in 2005 saying, no, nah, no, nah, this place has changed too much. Anyway, I haven't been back there since 2005. So this is my first visit in 18 years. What am I going to make of it? Right, we're looking for car number six. Well, they're keen. We haven't even uh, got on the train and they put the beds up already. <laughs> Come on, number 26. Right, so. This is home for the next uh, 12 hours or so. <laughs> you can't order beer anymore in the restaurant cars. That's one thing that's changed since the last time I've been on one of these sleeper trains. Oh well. It's been 18 years now since I last visited Samui and I can remember the last time I went there in 2005. I remember saying, oh, this place has changed so much. So I really don't know what I'm gonna make of it. I do know that I'm really looking forward to seeing it again and I think I'll probably be able to keep a, a positive attitude towards it. What's this place? Moonstone. Let's see if we've got any rooms for you here. How you doing? Hello. <laughs> this place is all right, isn't it? Hello. Nice to meet you. Lassa. Sorry again? Lassa. Lassa. All oh, right, right, Carl. Oh, nice to meet you. How you doing, Jason? Sorry. Hey. How you doing? Not bad. Good to see you. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Wow. Welcome, man. Wow. In the spirit. How you doing? Let's check out. It's not bad. 
you can't beat them old 40 bar a night beach bungalows. They used to have lizards living in the loft. <laughs> they would crap on you at night. It's not bad at all. Well, it's good to be back to Samui. Uh, <laughs> it's not even dark yet, and uh, you know I've had a few too many beers already, but uh, really enjoying it. Morning. 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 Well, this land has been donated by somebody. And they're trying to put up some kind of, they think they're putting up some kind of, uh, you know, monument, maybe a, a Buddha shrine or something, you know, it's one of those really kind of uh, prominent locations. Beautiful view from up here, really is nice. Really? I must admit it's going to take a great amount of effort to get up <laughs> and to depart to say no absolutely splendid time thoroughly enjoyed it recommended to anybody it's called Moonstone on Koh Samui move from the table to these <laughs> <laughs> we, we did move way, way yeah it's brilliant fantastic <laughs> it's a chill spot fantastic view lovely little breeze I like it Right, I'd like to introduce you to my friend Rob, who's been our gracious host this weekend. It's been an absolutely thank, uh, wonderful weekend. Thank you very much, Rob. Oh, man, it's been a pleasure having you. It's uh, been a, a great house. It's just, you can't go wrong on some movies, so it's, uh, it's been, a, been, a, been a blast. So I hope we'll do it again. It's certainly been a treat, Rob. Thanks a lot. Thanks, yeah. brother. Where are you? Uh, where are you originally from? U.S. Right. I lived US. in Austin, Texas, for many right. years. Oh, lovely. 
Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be a nice city in Austin. And uh, I liked it there, but due to the cost of living crisis and just um, struggling to find a job in the city. Right. Uh, I just decided um, now a lot of people are working remotely. Sure. So why not come live in a yeah, beautiful place like Sonoma? Very, very appealing lifestyle. Uh huh. Yeah. And you, you, you've been here like two years now. Three years. Three just years. Just over on three years. Not just Samui, I also lived in Chiang Mai, Phuket, sure. Pattaya for a few months, right. Bangkok. Yeah. But you feel at home here. I do. Here. It's cool. And, and you've got, uh, you got your own YouTube channel, uh, Digital Nomad Adventures. Digital Nomad Ventures. Ventures. That's right. Right, not adventures, ventures. Right, okay. Digital so. Nomad Ventures. Brilliant. It's growing pretty fast. I've got almost 5,000 subscribers. Wow, it's taken me good. about two years to monetize the channel. Yeah, so I'm actually time, making money it from it. It can be a slow process. Yeah, yeah. I saw that interview you did with Chris Parker, retired working for you. Uh-huh. Oh, motorbike. <laughs> yeah, he's all right. <laughs> yeah, so he had just reached out to me. He said, would love to interview you. And right, we can discuss lovely. what it's like being a digital nomad in Samui. So I said, hell yes. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, today I'm going to be hiking with Mike, Mike Holb. Hello. We've been in contact via the internet for a couple of years now, but the first time we've actually met. And uh, when, when I found out that I was coming down here, I said to Mike, look, I know he likes doing a little bit of hiking. Do you know anything? Have you got anything planned? So today I am not going to be the guide. It's going to be Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I hope, hopefully I know where I'm going. Okay, Mike, which way? <laughs> Straight ahead. Straight ahead. So there will be more uphill climbing from here. I'm sure. Yeah. No doubt about it. No doubt. Do you know what, Mike? I doubt if there's a vantage point on the island that hasn't been surveyed yet. Is there looking for somewhere to build? Probably not. I would it's say incredible, it's you know. Developed. Like, like I said to you <laughs> earlier, you know, it was... Uh, People wouldn't have thought of buying that land, you know, 30 years ago. It's kind of... Uh, the land we saw earlier with the bungalows. Well, all there. of it, you know, on the hillsides, the steep stuff, you know, because everybody was busy buying up the beach land at that time, you know. Mm -hmm. It was only after that all went, I think they started looking further up. And it's just incredible, even looking at the maps, all the little roads. You know, they just didn't exist. <laughs> of course, it is a bit unusual today, because normally it's me who's planned the route, or I've done it before. I've got the GPS track or something, but this time not at all. I'm totally, at the, we're totally at the mercy of Mike. <laughs> so uh, I'm quite enjoying it actually, just like locking into onto your back and uh, and following. Carl. <laughs> I'm expecting some nice views up there, Mike. <laughs> Oh, you'll, you'll get what you came for. Yeah, it'll be interesting, mate. It'll be interesting, you know, because I remember the last time I hiked up here, all you could see was a sea of palm trees when you got to the top. Intensely steep part here, but it's in the shade, believe me. That makes a difference, doesn't it? Ain't not having that sun beat down in you. <sighs> this is it, isn't it? This is it. Right. Somebody made it this far on a motorcycle, but they've given up at this point. Yeah. And I can see why. Look how steep. Very steep. That is a... rocks. Yep, let's do it. <laughs> up, up, up. Yeah, it's much nicer, isn't it, once you feel it, you've got most of the climbing out of the way. Exactly. Yeah. Now it's mostly downhill from here. Yep, and it's uh, it should be good. a nice cool breeze. There's so many of these hills, and on these hills, there's just so many vantage points. I mean, look yeah. at that. I bet you could build something beautiful up here, couldn't you? I mean, that is an incredible view. It sure is. 
and there's so many hills and they've all got these vantage points. <laughs> They're gonna keep building up and up and up, aren't they, Mike? Okay, so we're almost to the overlap stone. Yep, that's it, Mike. Just another 100 meters from here. Right. Right, we've uh, just arrived at Overlap Stone 2 and before I take any video or anything, I'm gonna, uh, this guy's selling nice ice cold coconuts up here, so I'm gonna indulge. In fact, I think he's even got beers, but I'm gonna start off with a coconut. Cheers, Mike. We Cheers. That one, mate. That was, uh, that was intense. I didn't realize we'd come over six kilometers. You know? That's an epic know hike. I, t I didn't just realize we'd done over six kilometers and the first bit of it was tough. Wasn't mm. It? Mm. Oh, that's beautiful. This is actually quite a nice surprise, Mike, you know, it's a nice little spot. What's this one that overlap rock to? Overlap stone to. Overlap stone to. In my next Koh Samui video, I ride around the island and using pictures that I took in the, uh, in the late 80s, I compare the places then to what they are now. You know, places like the first place I ever stayed on Koh Samui, places that I just really used to like, and some places that were the location of events that would change the course of my life forever. That's going to be in the next Koh Samui video. Thank you.